Okay, so Ingram Spark, the main benefit is getting that hardcover book out and distributed. Now, I know Amazon now is offering their case lamin hardcovers, but it's very limited in trim sizes, and you can't get that awesome dust jacket on your hardcover. That is super nice and polished, but you can get that with Ingram Spark. So today, I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do to upload your files to make sure you can have a jacketed hardcover book available for distribution. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm MK Williams. I'm an author and independent publisher. I love sharing my insights about all things self-publishing with you. Before I get into the details of today's topic, don't forget to hit subscribe. That way you can be here every week when I put out new videos on self-publishing, making a career to being an author, and now being a mompreneur. So today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to upload your hardcover book to Ingram Spark. In this example, I'm uploading a jacketed case laminate book to the platform in late 2021. So this tutorial should be good for 2022. Although I'm probably tempting fate and I'm sure Ingram Spark will change the whole interface now that I'm recording this. So good luck with that. I don't want to delay too much further because the tutorial is a bit longer than my usual videos. In this example, I'm uploading the hardcover edition of the Alpha Nina. So before I get started, I have to have these items and you're going to need these items too, okay? It's your ISBN, your book description, your pricing that you want to charge, your interior file, and your exterior cover file. So you're going to need a case laminate file and a jacket file, okay? Um, so make sure you have those five things. If you don't yet have this for your book, take a minute and get all of that together um, before you go and start the upload process. All right, let's get to this tutorial. Good morning. Hello. Today is a very exciting day because I'm going to be uploading the Alpha Nina to Ingram Spark. Um, now, I've done other tutorials on the channel before, um, and today I'm going to be showing you how to upload the jacketed hardcover um, version of a book to Ingram Spark. Um, there's a little bit more with that, um, obviously some more files that need to go with it. Um, so I'm going to show you that today. I'm also going to be doing the soft cover with Ingram Spark for my pre-order for the Alpha Nina. Um, and I'll be doing more videos kind of showing you the whole process of getting the book uploaded on KDP as well. Um, so stay tuned for that. But today we're going to be uploading the jacketed hardcover to Ingram Spark. Um, I'm going to be putting it on pre-order, but I'm actually not going to be enabling distribution. Um, I'm going to be waiting to enable that until I have the book and I can do the big cover reveal. So a few things that are changing with my strategy from previous tutorials I've done. But first things first, you're going to log into Ingram Spark. Um, now, if it's your first time uploading a book to Ingram Spark, you need to make sure your bank information, your tax information is updated, that you've either accepted or declined their distribution agreements. Um, if you want the book distributed, though, you need to accept the agreements. Um, if you have any questions or concerns about, mm, is this the right one to accept? Don't accept. Um, it's easier to go back and accept the agreement later than it is to go back and unaccept it. So just keep that in mind. But if you're uploading a second time, third time, um, you would start on this title screen. Um, if not, you need to fill in that tax and bank information first, and then you come here. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and over on the right, click add title, because um, we are going to add a title. Okay. So in this case, I'm doing a print book only. I only have my print books on Ingram Spark. Um, I find I can get better ebook wide distribution elsewhere. Um, so I'm just going to be uploading a print book today. Okay. Do you have your files ready? Yes, I have all my files ready. Mm hmm. Okay, I have the print jacket and cover, correct? I have the print interior. And now all of those were done by formatted books. Um, I have a series of videos I'm doing all about how they helped me with the cover this time and the interior. So I'm very confident that they're just going to go through right away. Okay, I'm going to do print, distribute, and sell book. That is ultimately what I would like to do, even though I'm not going to enable distribution when I approve the proof. Um, but today I'm still going to click that because ultimately that is my goal. I want to distribute and sell the book. All right, continue. Okay, so I'm just going to start filling in the information. Um, a lot of these are pretty self-explanatory. The title of the book, the language of the book. Okay, I need to provide my ISBN that I've already purchased and assigned for the hardcover. Okay, boom. Do not need to purchase one. I don't need a free one. I've already purchased mine. Okay, I own the copyright or hold the necessary publishing rights. I sure do. I'm the author. Okay, now it's going to ask me a series of questions. 
This will pop up um, anytime that you're here. Um, but does my title include someone's name, famous company, famous brand without permission? No. No trademarks or pictures of famous brands or toys? No. It doesn't include any pictures. Um, include work of someone or yourself? Nope. Um, any misleading cover images or information? Nope. Um, it's pretty clear when you see the cover, this is a science fiction book. Um, so I'm going to say no, my title does not include any of the above, right? Okay. All right, now this was an additional show more fields to improve book optimization. I always look at that to see what that is. Um, there is no subtitle in this case, but it is a series. So the Feminina series. And this is book number two in that series, right? This is the sequel to the Infinite Infinite, so I want to have that in there. Okay, author. Okay. Show more fields. I, mean, I could put in my bio. I actually usually don't put in my bio, so I'm not going to do that. Okay, my imprint has already come through from the ISBN. That's obviously different than what you have on KDP. You have to enter your imprint. This one just did it for me. It was very nice. Okay, I'm going to find my subjects. These are my BSAT codes. Um, so in Ingram Spark, they're called subjects. Um, KDP has their own thing with categories because it's specific to Amazon. Um, in this case, it is a BSAT code that I am finding. So I'm going to click here to find. I'm going to type in science fiction. And then I just hit enter and it did the search for me or else I could click this little icon to search. Um, and I'm going to go and I'm going to pick the ones that make sense. Add subjects. Because in this case, you know, I, I've already looked at my categories, I've already done that work, so I know it's action adventure and it's time travel. All right, boom, add subjects, done. Select audience, trade. Nothing special, I'm not doing children's book, I'm not doing YA, I'm not doing anything below an adult reading level. Okay, so here's where I could continue to add things. Um, table of contents, I could add review quotes. I don't have those yet. Um, I'm hopefully going to be getting some of those in from my ARC readers. Um, so I'm going to leave that blank for now, but I can always come back and update this metadata. Um, I know a lot of people are concerned with Ingram Spark. Oh, like you have to pay for edits. You have to pay for revisions. It's only to the actual files. You can update the metadata of, you know, those review quotes, your title description, all of those things you can update at no cost to you. It just has to, takes a little bit of time to push out to all of the retailers, but you can update that at any time. Okay, full description. Ah, already did this. All right, so I'm literally just copying and pasting from the Google Doc that I've already reviewed and proofed and edited, and thankfully my formatting came over with the um, italicies. So that's really helpful to already have that in there. Okay, I'm gonna move that extra space. And you can obviously change it. I could bold things, I could italicize, I could underline if I hadn't already had that formatting and didn't come through. So that is something that you can do um, on here if you really wanted to. Okay, so you're gonna type in your keywords. I put in just a few here. Again, I can update these later. Um, I'm not stuck with these forever if I find that certain ones are working or not working, um, so I can update those. So that's just a few that I put in there. I could do a shorter description. I usually don't do this because I already have a, a description that I like. So I am not going to fill that out. Okay, continue right at the bottom. And it's blue when you can continue. If something was missing from these red fields, it would not let me continue. All right, we made it to the next page. Excellent. Okay, so they're always going to show you the most popular trim sizes first, easily pick from. If your trim size is not here, you can select from below. It is available. Um, now, when you're doing the hardcover, you have a limited amount of trim sizes you can pick from, so you always want to check those first. I always do a six by nine. It's available in paper rack, it's available in hardcover. Um, so I picked it here and it automatically filled it in here. So that was very helpful. Um, to be able to do, but again, if you're doing a different size, you would just go to this drop down to select that. Okay, interior is black and white. All right, I like it on cream. The groundwood is this new thing that um, Ingram Spark is offering. Um, I haven't. I haven't tried it yet, so I'm not going to try it for this um, book. I may try it for some other books later, but I always go with the cream. Um, again, it's less harsh on the reader's eye to have black and white text on a cream page versus on a stark white page. 
Okay, the binding. So as I said, we're going to do a hardback, um, the hardcover today. Now we're going to do jacketed case laminate. Um, so you can do the digital cloth in blue or gray. You can do the case laminate. Um, I like the jacket. I like the look and feel of the jacket. So that's why I do that. Um, and I always like a matte finish. I do like that. Um, I could have done gloss, but I like matte. I just, my preference. Okay, boom. All right, page count. Okay, my page count is 292 pages. Alphanina is the longest book I have ever written. Um, so that's gonna be interesting. Ooh, pretty steep print cost there. Um, but it is the hardcover, so that makes sense. Okay, I actually did um, my pricing research um, previously. Um, so I'm actually gonna be filling in the retail prices that I already did the, the research on. I'm gonna be doing a separate video that's all about pricing. Stay tuned for that. Um, and I'm gonna be doing that in the a full length a whole masterclass on pricing in the membership that I'm going to have for this channel. So if you're not already um, subscribed to this channel and a member of this channel, please join. Okay, I'm going to be matching this price to what I have for the infinite, infinite jacketed hardcover, right? So whichever book you're getting in the series, if you're getting the hardcover, it's going to be the same price. Now, once the series is done, I may elect to do a strategy where um, where the first book is going to be less expensive to hook people in. Um, I'm not prepared to do that right now because the series isn't complete. So once that's done, I probably will go back and do that. But for now, I am going to be um, setting the price equal for each of the books. Okay. Um, now, I also did um, an entire series of videos on um, wholesale discount and returnability in Ingram Spark. I will link to those here so you can look at those. Why is it bad? Okay. Okay, so then I'm going to make that lower. All right, let's go with that. 35, okay. Boom. All right, so thankfully, um, and I do like that Ingram Spark is getting more sophisticated where it, it does call that out. I think before it wasn't calling that out. Um, so now it's telling me, hey, if you did that, you would actually get zero if, you know, somebody sold that. So that was good to know. I always set my books as returnable. As I mentioned in my other video, which I'm probably tempting fate with this, I have never had an issue with returns um, causing a negative balance for me, having to be an issue. So I... I set them to be returnable. I want my books to be able to be returnable if there is an issue with them um, from there. And then one thing that is new from the last time I've done any tutorials with Ingram Spark is now they actually have these um, items here where you're going to be checking um, and they're letting you know, like, I understand that I'm applying less than the 55% discount and that can limit the likelihood that bookstores and some markets will purchase my title. Yep. Can limit their reach. I totally understand that. Um, it's kind of from me that they do that, but I, bookstores have to make their money too, and they are looking at that percentage. Um, I do have a plan to kind of reinvigorate my brick and mortar retail strategy with this series, but I'm not going to be going as hard on that right now. I just want my book to actually show up. And what's interesting is even at that price, so 55% discount, I know I have to do that or else Amazon gets a little glitchy sometimes, which it's not like a proven fact, it's just anecdotally I've seen that, and I still only make a dollar for this hardcover. So that's a, that's the life of an author right there. Um, okay, I understand that selecting yes deliver return option means copies of the title can be returned to Ingram. Ingram will ship the return copies to me. Account will be charged the current wholesale cost for each return copy plus shipping and handling fees. Okay, that's that's fine. I understand that. Um, and again, I've never had an issue with that. And yes, saying destroy, um, it's the only option for markets outside of the U.S. and Canada. So if you want them to be returnable, they have to be yes, destroy, or they have to be not returnable, which again, I want them to be returnable. Um, so I understand that. It's fine. Okay. I do want look inside enabled. This is not a large text edition. It's something I'm probably going to be trying in the new year um, or even in 2023. Um, and it is not right to left. So I don't have to worry about that. Okay. Publication date. So this is where we're gonna be setting the pre-sale and the release date. Um, so I'm doing this in December of 2021. I don't want the book to release until this first Tuesday in March. So there we go. All right, so both my publication date and my on-sale date are the same, and that means that my book is going to be on pre-order um, when I do enable it, and then it will say the release date is March 1st. So I'm writing that down right now so I don't forget. If you saw some of my other videos, then you know one time I updated my pre-order release date and it uh, didn't make it to Ingram Spark. So we had a bit of a snafu. So being very thorough to make sure this gets done correctly. 
All right, so I've filled everything out here in terms of the trim size, um, I provided the page count, um, I provided my pricing, I provided everything else, I've checked all of these boxes, I've done my publication on on-sale date, so I'm gonna hit continue. Okay. So as you saw there, it was just a little glitchy. It wanted me to agree to not have things as returnable, but I wanted them returnable. So I literally just went back and select no on everything. And then I selected yes, and I agreed to everything that was there. Um, again, sometimes it does get a little glitchy. It doesn't catch when you're making the edits. And I am trying to go slower than usual. Um, and even then, it's not catching them. So um, just have your patience when you're uploading. If something's getting glitchy like that, just hit save and continue um, or save and exit and maybe come back later or just do what I did and literally like change them all and then change them all back. Um, it's no reason to get cause for concern. Like it's a computer system. Like sometimes it has glitches. Like it just is what it is. Okay, so now I'm going to be uploading my files, um, which I already have. Now, again, this was all done by formatted books. They did my interior, which I'm dropping under interior. Um, and they also did my cover creative because they are launching a new cover um, design service. So you can literally get everything done just with formatted books, which is so convenient. Um, and so here, the cover and then the jacket. So the cover is the case laminate um, design, which I'm going to drop here. And then the jacket is a separate design, which I'm going to drop here. Um, so thankfully, working with professionals, I know it's going to go through. I know it's going to look good. Um, again, much better than when I was just figuring it out on my own. Um, so I definitely appreciate that. All right, I'm going to click continue. So again, this is a super easy page. You're just literally drag and drop, drop them in. Super easy. Continue. Okay, so now it's validating. Now this one can sometimes take a while, um, but it says all my metadata is correct. There's nothing missing. There's no errors. There's nothing that they're catching right now that's going to be an issue. Now the content files validation. Um, when I was just doing this, formatting it on my own, figuring it out, um, doing my own covers, I would often get some errors and I have to go figure it out. Boom. I went with formatted books. They're professionals. No errors. Um, it's definitely worth the added cost and and sometimes yeah at a time like it's not going to be done as fast as if you just dedicated a whole weekend to figuring it out but it's going to be done correct and that's going to save you a lot of gray hairs all right so i'm going to click continue okay so now i am on the final page so this is saying hey this is your final detail um now i am going to kind of stop sharing for a second just because i do have a promotional code to enter so i am a member of the alliance of independent authors um, and the really nice thing about some of the benefits they offer is you do get free uploads um, the free upload code for ingram spark um, so i'm actually going to be doing a video probably as it comes to my one year of my membership um, talking about you know, the benefits beyond the Ingram Spark discount. I think that's what a lot of people think of. Um, and honestly, it's a great benefit, um, but there are other benefits. And so I do think sometimes people kind of get lost in, you know, that's the only benefit. It's not, there are other benefits. Um, and so I'm gonna be using my discount. So I'm actually gonna stop recording right here um, because it's not to be shared. Um, Okay, so I entered my discount code. It was accepted, it was applied, um, so I didn't have to pay that $49, and then I hit submit. So now, congratulations, your title submission was successful, yay. So what I'm gonna do is when I get the email back um, that the proof is available for me to review, I'll go ahead and record again and show you that process. So this is the first step. Um, I still have to get the digital proof for me to approve, um, and then I'm going to wait till I actually receive the book, and I look at it, and I can do my fun video for you to be able to see what it actually looks like. So hopefully this was a helpful video for you to kind of see the process, see everything as you're going through. Um, and now I'm going to go click to add another title and do the same thing for the paperback, except it's not going to have three files to upload. It'll just have two. All right. I hope you found this helpful um, and I'll be chatting with you guys again soon. Bye. Okay, guys, so that was the upload process. Now I'm going to show you how to approve the proof because your book is not going anywhere, anywhere until you approve it. Okay. All right, so today is Tuesday, December 7th. So I recorded that last screen capture where I was uploading the files for my hardcover book, um, my jacketed hardcover book on Ingram Spark last Thursday. So it can take up sometimes up to three full business days, not calendar days, business days to get your proof back. And it looks like it took the full amount of time um, for Ingram Spark to get that back to me, which is totally fine. Actually, um, I got the 
proof email for the paperback last night and the hardcover just took a bit longer, which is again, totally fine. So I'm going to click on this and review my proof to show you what that step is. Um, I do sometimes get questions from people or I see questions in author forums or people like, I uploaded my book to Ingram Spark. I'm not seeing on it. Amazon yet what's going on chances are if you if it was a print book and you have not received this email yet where you approve your proof that's the first reason why um, they will not distribute your book until you say it is approved um, and that you want to distribute it um, so that's something to keep in mind so if you're planning to get your book out tomorrow and you're uploading it today that's not likely to happen um, because it takes time to get these proofs back um, and to thoughtfully look at them so I'm gonna go ahead and look at this right now Okay, so when you click on this, so I, I'm back on my titles page, I can actually see both of them are waiting for my approval right now. So I'm gonna click on approve. Now it's not actually going to approve it, it's gonna take me to the page where I can download the proof file, obviously, it would not just let me click approve without seeing it. Um, so I'm going to click download. You can see it's actually rendering the cover now, which looks beautiful. Thank you to Formatted Books for making it look so good, okay. Okay, so the first few pages are always their instructions and things to look for. Um, if this is your first time uploading a book to Ingram Spark, I definitely suggest you take a look at this. I have done this several times, so I know what it says there. So I'm just gonna start to scroll through. And really, I've already proofed what the cover looks like. I've already proofed the interior of the book. This is just my chance to make sure everything uploaded correctly. Um, I have multiple books, so like I didn't put the wrong interior there or some random thing just didn't happen in the system. And the reason why it takes a few days is that, yes, the system is going to generate this, but a human at Ingram Spark actually looks at this before it's sent to you. Um, because if you ever get a kickback email that says, hey, there's errors, you can actually hit reply and say, can you please clarify these errors? Um, and a human will respond to you. So that is a reason why it takes some time. But I'm going to go ahead and start to scroll through. Um, now, because it's jacketed case laminate, it's going to show me the jacket first, just the way that I uploaded it. Yep, that's what it needs to look like. It has this big proof across it. Um, so I know that's the case. All right, this looks good. Okay, there's the cover of what it would look like on the case, um, and there's the case cover again. So this is the jacket. So again, when the book is all folded put together, that's what it's gonna look like on the front. That's what the case is gonna look like if you took off the jacket. Um, so it's showing me both. Um, there are instances where maybe you want something slightly different. Um, I would say if it's jacketed case laminate, you're going to have it look the same. Um, I don't see why you would have it look different, but there could be a specific reason for it. Um, and that could be something that you might want to do. Okay. Yes. Um, now, as I said, I've already proofed the interior file from formatted books previously. So the reason why I'm not giving this a very thorough you know, detailed, long read through is because I have looked at this several times before already um, from formatted books. So now I'm just making sure everything looks the way it's supposed to look. There's no surprise pages. <laughs> There's nothing um, weird showing up here that it actually has all the pages in it. Um, now, I, if for some reason I saw something I didn't like, I will show you what you can do. Um, I know a lot of people have concerns around using Ingram Spark because there are upload fees and revision fees, but while you're still in this proof stage, you can actually submit edits, um, and that's totally fine. Um, it's once you click approve, um, then if you had an edit that you would not um, get that for free, you would have to pay that revision fee. The author, okay, there's the back of the book, and then there's the back of the jacket, which again, match and I am A-OK -okay with that. Okay, cool. All right, so I have now reviewed this. It looks correct. It looks the way that I want it to look. So I am going to click exit there. Okay, so it takes me back to this page because it was open in a new window. So now I have four options. So two options are approving the title and two options are not approving the title. So if I had gone through and I said, no, um, I just spotted a typo <laughs> on that, um, I would say, nope, I have revised content to upload. Um, if for some reason I was like, hey, I submitted everything correct and now I'm seeing the interior of a totally random different book, I would probably select this box and leave these notes. I've never had to use this box with rejecting it. Um, usually it's like, oh, I just spotted a typo because I was rushing and excited um, and I have new files to upload. Um, and if I clicked that, it would just continue. It would take me back where I could upload those new files. Um, so for some reason I saw that typo and I did not have the files, I would just not click anything. I would wait to come back until I had the files and then I would click that and do the upload right then. 
but I am happy with how this looks, so I'm going to approve. Now there's two options. You can say, I approve this title for printing, distribution, and sales, and this is gonna push it out right away. Um, what I've started to do and what I'm doing for this book, um, which you're going to be seeing this video afterwards, is I'm just going to approve it, but only so I can uh, place orders. Now, I will be able to enable distribution once I receive my book. Um, what I'm planning to do is I'm going to approve it just so I can order it. I'm going to order my copies. Um, and when they arrive, I'm going to do my cover reveal video, which you may or may not have already seen at this point. Um, and then I will then go ahead and approve it for distribution. To everybody um, so that way I can see the book I can have control over when the cover is revealed um, because if I enable distribution that cover is gonna start to show up places um, and when I was doing like my first book maybe that wasn't as big of, of a deal but now there are people who follow me so I, I want it to be a big surprise um, so I am just going to enable it for printing orders from my account um, but if you are ready you're like nope I want it out to my retailers right now I'm not doing a pre-order like I'm I just want it out you would click this first one if it was approved um, so I'm approving it here I'm going to click continue Perfect, okay, now this pop-up is gonna come up and your instinct, if you're like me, is going to be just, ugh, exit, get out of here. Um, this is actually super helpful though, they pop it up right away. They say, hey, you can now order copies of your book. They suggest that you buy a single copies or a few copies, um, just so that way you can proof it, you can have your copies if you need to send them to the Library of Congress, if you're giving them to friends as gifts, you can do that right now. Would you like to place an order? Um, I am not going to do that now, I'm going to go back and review my paperback, so I can just do an order with both of them on it, um, but this is super helpful, so if I was ready, I would say yes, place the order. Um, I'm gonna click cancel though, because I'm not gonna do that right now, but, um, if you would like to place an order, click place order. Okay. All right. And that is how you upload and approve your jacketed case laminate hardcover to Ingram Spark. Um, and I will try and come back and also show you how I'm going to enable distribution once I receive my print copy. All right. Have a great day. Okay. And just like I mentioned in the video, I'm now going to enable for distribution. Check it out. Okay. So I have gone ahead. I've um, uploaded the Alpha Nina as an ebook to KDP. And so now I'm going to enable distribution on the two print books. Um, so I wanted it to be on KDP first because sometimes Amazon, they get a little jealous if they're not the first to a title. Um, so I want to have the ebook there. So now I'm going to enable distribution on both the jacketed hardcover that we've already seen uploaded as well as the um, paperback, just so that way now that can filter over for the pre order um, and I'll be linking them. Um, later this week in Author Central. So um, as you can see, my other books that are enabled for distribution, this little global icon is lit up. Um, so I'm actually gonna click this icon here now for the hardcover. I'm gonna slide it from that no over to the yes. Are you sure you want to enable this type of distribution? Yes. I do not want to pay to promote it through Ingram Sparks service. Um, so I click no on that. Um, there's a lot of heated discussions about that usually in the forums, but I usually say no. Um, okay, now it's giving me this order form again. I've already paid for this access with my upload, so it's just saying, hey, there's no additional fee right now. All right, and I accept that it is going to send that out now. And I'm going to do it one more time with a paperback just so you can catch that again um, if you missed that. Okay. So now it's saying revision and complete. By the time we finish this other one, it won't be showing that anymore. Okay, so this is for the paperback. I'm gonna click this little global icon again, enable distribution, enabled for distribution, no. So I'm gonna slide this to yes. Yes, I wanna enable distribution. No, I do not want to promote it. Okay, I accept that there's no additional fee at this time. Boom, done. And now when I go back to titles, Boom, it's showing that hardcover now is title available with the blue dot, um, and this is still processing the revision. Um, so now I'll give it a couple days. I'm announcing the pre-order in uh, about a week, so hopefully everything is showing through. It can take sometimes up to six weeks. I've usually seen it takes about four days just for everything to flow through. Um, so that is how you set up a jacketed hardcover and enable for distribution in Ingram Spark. All right, I hope this video has helped you to upload your own book to Ingram Spark. Let me know what other questions you have about navigating this platform down in the comments below. We can keep the conversation going and maybe then I'll know what new tutorials to make for you. All right, if you found this information helpful, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to hit subscribe. That lets YouTube know that you're getting value from this information and can get it in front of other authors like us. Now you can get back to writing your book.